Well, how many of you have done some form of reflection with students? I figured. So let's start right now by taking literally no more than two minutes. You're not writing your college thesis paper here. <laughs> what I want you to put on the card is an idea you bring about reflection, one of your favorite experiences you've done with students. Like what was an opportunity you did with reflection that you actually liked, you thought you got something happening, it was impactful. And on the index card you can write whatever's going to put on the card that you or somebody else can remember what that strategy was or what that process was. So you can write sentences, you can write bullet points, you can write a few words, but you have no more than two minutes to jot down on the card an idea for reflection that you think is worthy. Any idea will do. What I'd like you to do now is just leave everything on the table except your card. And you're going to get to know people at your table, that's for sure. But now let's just mix it up a minute. Just stand up, and what you're going to do is go find a partner, somebody you don't know in the room, and that's your partner. For just, we're going to do something for two minutes. So go find a partner, and then I'll, once you find a partner, I'll tell you what you're going to do. Sure. Find a partner. What you get to do is you're going to have just literally a minute and a half, just a short bit, to share your idea with your partner, a minute, like a minute total, share your idea with your partner and sell it. Like this is the best idea on the planet. <laughs> sell that idea. You've got a minute to make it work, sell it. You've got one minute, sell your idea. <laughs> Give your trade cards with your partner. They're now the keeper of your ideas. Give the cards to your partner. All right, and this is what we do next. You know how retention works. One way you remember something is by what? Teaching it to someone else. So now what you get to do is go find someone, and you don't tell your idea. You tell your new idea. So you're now the keeper of the new idea. And we have some new people come in. They'll be the keeper of their ideas, but it all works out. So you're going to actually get up and go find a new partner and tell them the idea you just learned. Don't leave, leave your idea alone. You're going to share the new idea. Go find a partner. You have three minutes total. Go. thinking about the, the content, but then that concept of selling, like how do you actually take the best parts of this and accentuate it? I, and I found that in itself had you reflecting on the high points of whatever it is you had. So one of the things I find is sometimes you just tweet things with a thought like that, and I hadn't even planned to do that. That just came to me right at the moment. Yeah. Literally. Mm -hmm. I'm not kidding. So it was, um, sell the idea. Sometimes I'll say to students, um, you know, how many of you have to sit through a lot of boring presentations from students? Anybody? Maybe once or twice or fifty times. So I tell students sometimes when they make first of all, PowerPoints have no power, no point, I tell them. But um, <laughs> then I then I let them know that they have to do several things in a presentation. One is involve everybody in the room and make it so we will remember it forever. It's like selling it. And and when you just say that, suddenly they go, It's different. It's it's a whole new addition. So it's it's very interesting adding just a couple of words, something suggestive like that you know, sell it. So we remember that those kind of things will make people think differently. Anybody else with the process was like, yes? I think also if we did something like this with students where they were going to have to share with someone else, it would make them definitely be better listening to it. They'd know they had to listen and remember it because they had to present it to that person. So this is a great classroom technique, isn't it? You could adapt it in a million different ways. Because they think they're just going to share with one person and be done. Surprise! You know, you're not done. You get to you could really play with this in a lot of ways. Any other last thoughts on this? 
Yes. I want to know what everybody else was talking about. I know. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great? So it'd be great if people want to uh, post That's these important. on the. We'll have to figure out a way, Donna, to send them in or post them so we get a copy of all these ideas. Email ecslabc at gmail.com. If you would just mind, after, after sometime tonight, just shoot out what your idea was and we'll make them available. So can we collect these ideas? You can collect the cards. The other thing is, if you're into tweeting, we've got a little tweet pattern going up here. So you can tweet it out now if you want. You can tweet like crazy or give the cards in. So lots of ways, but I think it'd be great to get the collection. Good idea. How many of you actually found some new ideas you can use? All right, that's what I was, I, I knew that would happen because there's so many, many, much richness here and the whole purpose of ECSL is obviously we bring in me or other people to help facilitate, but it's really in the room that you get the richness and that's why we come together.